you know so we did it as a social thing I, I said okay so i kind of picked a few frankie and i are very much from the same um musical heritage if you want and we're very much you know love all that kind of like Rai Kuda, the band uh little feet you know that that kind of stuff so i just picked up a few songs that i kind of uh, i've half known for you know all these years and and learned the third verse on all of them. And I, went <laughs> and I went down and I played this little gig in a in a in a an amazing place in Littlehampton in Sussex called the Empress Bar, which is a go and have a pint there. It's just great. Anyway, yeah, I went in. Oh yeah, it is. And, we're, and it's on the river and everything. And I went in and you know, me and Frankie have known each other. You know, since I don't know since before Moses. <laughs> and uh, we played these gigs, uh, we played these songs, and the people loved it. And he phoned me up the next day and, and said, they want you to come down, you know, and do a whole gig on your own, because this was just like a little guest spot. And I went, oh, that's very nice. So um, that's what I did last night. And in the meantime, I've sort of like developed this thing in my head to go out and do live, um, because it's very easy to get gigs if you do covers. It's very easy to to kind of like walk into places and 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 get. It's not very easy. It's easier than if you're totally, totally. You know, it's a different scene. Right. And um, so I thought, well, I, you know, why not? Actually, why not? What is this thing I've got in my head? You know, about you know, people were up dancing last night. People, and that's what music's about, isn't it? It's about communication with people. So it it. It's about people enjoying what you're doing. So you can you can go and play some certain gigs in some certain places in some certain areas, doing a thing which is all your thing, and it can all get a little bit precious or whatever. And people stand around very coolly clapping, and and I just thought, shit, you know what? Last n- oh, excuse me, <laughs> uh, right, but I just thought, you know what? Last night people were just <clears throat> up partying, and people were digging it, and people were loving it, and people were going. At the end of it, you know, people I don't know from Adam just coming up and going, oh, thanks for a great night. And I thought, well, that's what a lot of, of, of being in a band is about. It's about giving people a good time. And um, parallel to that, you know, I think I have something to say as an individual, as a writer. And so I, um, I you know... Uh, I'm injecting that into what I'm doing, and and uh, it's it's just great, you know. So I I haven't got a thing in my head about you know I'm going to be, you know, some amazing, amazingly world famous. This I'm just going out and doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is communicating with people, playing music, pe- playing music that people want to get up and you know what do you do when you want to go and see a band? You want to go and see a great band? You want to. You know, you want to be entertained. You want to, you, you, you want to, you know, and you want to, you want to enjoy yourself. So, it, you know, that's what it felt like to me last night. And you know, I've got a few more gigs and um, planned with these guys. And uh, so I'm just doing that. And at the same time, in parallel, you know, I'm, I'm, I never stop writing. Right. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. That's, <clears throat> that's that's totally my thing. That is that I never stop writing. And so, um. The album is embryonic, but it it's 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 you know I'm loading it into the can, and uh, I just want to you know I, I just want to I just want to get in and, and and make a killer album in parallel to going out and entertaining the good people of. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So with that in mind, shall we, that was. Brilliant, thank you very much. Um, I, I asked you a very open question about what you were up to for the last year, and that was a very, very, very good story, so thank you. Yeah. With that in mind, uh, seamlessly from this album, should we play one of your new tracks? Yes, yeah, we please shall. do. And we're going to play How to Play the Game, Dylan T. Oh, I love it. Dig this. Thank you. Mm.
Right on. Dylan T. Ross with how to play the game. And that was a bad scene because that was like John Lee Hooker, uh, buddy guy. Like it just like, that was just like really cool blues. Oh man, that was awesome. I love that tune. Even almost kind of, yeah. even almost kind of a setup, uh, part of the, part of the other uh, main verse and chorus almost kind of sound like, like, uh, a Parliament Funkadelic arrangement. So, yeah, it was cool. Oh, really? Yeah, I loved it. Okay. Loved it. I did, I, oh, thank you very much. I did, um, I don't know, I don't know where, yeah, I, there's a, I, I think it's back to that thing again about just having this eclectic um, influence, really. And I think with that tune, that, that's, that was, uh, in my head, when I wrote it, that was like a work song. That was, down, down, down. It was, it was kind of like a, it was almost like, you know, chain gang kind of <laughs> feel to that yeah. song. That's, that, that's what it had for me. And, um, the, you know, there's, there's that great sort of tradition, I, I guess, in blues of, of um, almost not scat singing, but, but you know, the, the, uh, the melody lines being played on the guitar and, mm -hmm. and, and sung at the same time and it, it you know it just it just really sort of um, was evocative of, of, of all that to me when I wrote it and it's weird when you kind of write and you're in your studio and you're in your you know it's the same room with your same guitars and your same you know com system your, your recording system your computer whatever it is and then but um when you every song you write it, the studio takes on a different atmosphere almost so um you know the the studio kind of like responds um it the studio responds to uh, to what you're writing you know and and uh when i wrote that particular track the studio was really raw it was really it was really open and raw okay. and and kind of giving so you know, I think that particular track probably reached uh, quite deeply, you know, in, in down into my soul or whatever it was. So thank you for the compliment. <laughs> oh man, not at all. And you know what? My review was actually a little bit different from last week when we first played because when I was listening to it over and over again, it's like it's like now now I'm picking up more and more stuff than the last time. It's like that's why it's it's, it's fun with this stuff over again because I always. Uh, it's, there's something I missed from the time before and so I can kind of add to my review as well just because it's like, you know what, I didn't notice it the last time but that's really cool, that's really stood out and when I listen to it, yeah. <clears throat> this time around that's when I cut the Parliament fucking out thinking in my eyes like, that's actually kind of like a Parliament arrangement so that was really badass, I really enjoyed that uh, I, Yeah, I, go on Mike uh, oh, Sorry, I was just coughing you go, you go on and then I'll say my best No, I'm good I think you were feeding the cat <clears throat> no, nah, nah, nah. the cat, cat's been fed now. You stop being. For anyone that doesn't have a clue what that means, because we were off air, my cat was being very annoying before we went on air, which also made me slightly late. <laughs> 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 feed me. You've got feed. Um, well, I'm talking now, so I might as well say my bit. This is my favourite song that you've ever written that I've heard. You've probably written loads of songs I've heard, but genuinely my favourite. I love it. It reminds me of Canned Heat. It reminds me of Neil Young. It reminds me of. Oh. Buddy Guy, it reminds me of BB King. It's just beautiful. It's got so much amazing stuff in it. I really love it. It also reminds me of the Black Crows and people like that, like the really sort of soulful um, uh, backing vocals and stuff like that. So I just, I love it, mate. I think it's top, top quality. I think you've done a fantastic job. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, thank you. That's a, I, yeah, I, I think maybe it, it, it's kind of like um, every, you know, I, do you know what? There's something about writing, and I, I, I think that it, it's kind of. You try and find this pure connection with yourself, you know, and a lot of the Dylan T. Rock stuff, I think that that, that was good, was like a pure connection with, with you know, myself. That, that and this song, I think, is, you know, is maybe a little more grown up, maybe a little more reaching, a little deeper, maybe a little. That's the thing we're writing, isn't it? Is is you know, it doesn't. If you write films, if you write books, if you write poetry, if you write music, you have to kind of. You, be prepared to expose yourself. Be right. prepared to, you know, to really dig deep and be honest, you know. And and I think it's a process. I don't think you can just sort of like, you know, you can just go, oh, well, here I am, <laughs> you know. <laughs> maybe some people can, you you know. But maybe you have to kind of like explore that for yourself. Maybe you have to deep, 
uh, dig deeply within yourself and the you know and i think that i i agree with you uh mike i think that this track has it has got a special element to it i think it you know i think it got through you know a good crack <laughs> somewhere <laughs> <laughs> I think it found the soft spot somewhere. Absolutely. But yeah, I love it. I, I, I'm a big fan. I think it's, you know, I, I probably can't say enough. I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, so if you keep doing stuff like that, I'm going to be very, very happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we go, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so I was going to ask you um, uh, a question. Um, that requires a succinct answer, but I appreciate is very complex and, and probably doesn't have a succinct answer, but just, you know, because of time. Um, well, good luck with it then, yeah. <laughs> all, I, all I'm saying is this is a question that you could answer um, in, you know, across three hours and, and never quite <laughs> finish the answer. Um, because it is the next song. So let's, let's go with the question rather than trying to describe the question. Yeah. Yes. Tell us in three sentences or less All right. your views on.